We're seeing two uh, big trends out there um, that, that surround video and branded video specifically. The first is that interruption advertising is becoming less and less effective. Consumers have lots of choice. They can skip ads more easily. And so uh, many are choosing to do so. We're seeing that from, from uh, lots of data. And the second major trend is that with mobile becoming a mechanism through which people are consuming video, there's just lots more options for people to consume video. There's, there's more opportunities, more circumstances where they want to um, consume some snackable content. Um, and so the way for brands to, to capitalize on both of these trends that are colliding is to develop a, a point of view, but a point of view that is uh, meaningful and entertaining and engaging for consumers. I always say that brands should look to give consumers a gift with every communication, that it should be something that is either entertaining or uh, a utility or a service or something that has some value to the consumer because otherwise they're going to turn it off. And uh, the upside is that if they do like it, they're going to share it with their friends, they're going to talk about it, and um, you know because their friends also are looking for uh, great content to consume. So a couple of examples that I can give. One on the first on the service side. So with Unilever, we did something with, with them in partnership with Google where we saw that a billion searches a month are done on um, hair, kind of hair care related solutions um, where people are looking to create a certain hairstyle or have a certain issue with uh, you know, weather and their hair and they have questions and they'll go to Google to ask these questions. And so we partnered with Google and with uh, video bloggers to create a ton of content that would address these specific questions. And we left it, we really left it to the bloggers. The products are, are incorporated, the Unilever products are incorporated into the videos, but we left it very open. So they're focused on, they, they already have a big following, and they're focused on communicating with their audience um, you know, how to put these hairstyles together. And so we, you know, immediately uh, within the first six weeks, it's been only been in soft launch, there's been over six million views of the videos. So that's uh, very quickly gaining momentum. And what's interesting is with, with online video, you also have a chance to close the loop. So now, if a consumer does want to buy that product online, they have the, the ability to do so right from the video. So um, really interesting opportunities that are opening up. Another great example, um, which is more on the side of entertainment is um, with Nike. So we're Nike's uh, digital agency, uh, media agency of record in the U.S. Um, they've been a client for a long time, and we partner with their other agencies to create their their uh, campaigns around um, soccer, uh, celebrating their their uh, the um, athletes that they sponsor who are participating in the World Cup. And so. Um, we created, there were two videos that were created. We, we didn't, Widen Kennedy was the agency that created them, but we're the media agency that helped to uh, generate interest. And uh, it was really interesting because it was a four minute video and we saw that consumers were willing to, because it was such great content, it was so engaging, such a great story, consumers were willing to stay through the whole four minutes. Um, and they, it was very shareable. So they were, uh, it was one of, in terms of all the work we've done with Nike over time, it was the video that was most shared by the viewers because the content was so great, so rich, so engaging. And so that is really critical to give them something that's either on the utility side or the uh, entertainment side, but it's got, some, got to be something that's of value.